the Schlenk line is important for chemists like me who do organometallic chemistry or inorganic chemistry because the metals, which is the middle part of the periodic table, are typically very sensitive to oxygen. And so we need to be able to do these manipulations without letting oxygen into the reaction. I use my Schlenk line every day. Um, and I think that most organometallic chemists will tell you the same thing, that we use our Schlenk lines every day. Uh, like the glove box, this is a way that we can do air-free and water-free manipulations, but this just gives us a little bit more control over what we can do and how we can manipulate things. And sometimes there are certain chemicals that we actually can't use in the glove box, and so we have to use the Schlenk line. So the way that the Schlenk line works is that it's two glass tubes, and one is just filled with what we call an inert gas. So it's a gas that doesn't react with the compounds that we're using. And so in our case, in our lab, we use argon because it's uh, heavier than the air around us. And so when we have flasks that are filled with argon, typically oxygen won't get inside and mix in with the inert gas as easily. So we have one tube that's filled with argon and that will just keep argon gas will just keep flowing through. And then we have a second tube that is connected to a vacuum pump. So if we think of like a vacuum cleaner when we're doing our chores, it sucks everything up. So this pump sucks everything out of that tube. And it's completely closed off and it's just compl constantly sucking everything out. So there's literally nothing inside of the tube. When you reduce the pressure of a vessel, that boils off any solvent. And so the solvent vapors will go through the tube that's connected to the vacuum. And if you don't have the trap cooled down, it'll just go directly into your pump. And so what we do is we cool down the trap with liquid nitrogen. And so any solvents that can be frozen will get frozen inside the trap. And then the only thing that's going through to the pump is any oxygen that we're pumping off or argon that we're pumping off, like when we pump purged. And that protects the pump uh, for a prolonged amount of time because the pumps are really expensive, so we don't want to damage them in any way. Yeah. I mean, it gets, it gets complicated and it's a little difficult, but Schlenk line techniques can kind of be a lost art and not a lot of people know how to do slang techniques anymore, but I do think that it's an incredibly important art form because you can't do everything in a glove box. Even if you can afford one, you can't do everything in there, and there are a lot of things that are easier to do on a slang line than in a glove box.